The annual report of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the second session of the sixth legislative term highlighted the sincere efforts of the people of Bahrain to support Bahrain's development march under the leadership of His Majesty the King, as well as the qualitative achievements that consider consolidated the pillars of political and democratic work. We have more in this report. To continue building on the important achievements under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and after the end of the previous legislative term, His Majesty the King received the annual report of the work of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the second session of the sixth legislative term to emphasize the sincere national efforts towards the development of national legislation and laws. The annual report included the achievements of the two councils and their effective legislative and oversight roles in developing the system of laws and legislation that serve the country and its citizens. The annual report also reviewed the achievement of parliamentary work and performance, as well as the active movement practiced by parliamentary diplomacy through the participation of the parliamentary division delegations in regional and international forums. All of these outstanding results achieved by the members of the legislative authority will leave a positive impact on the reality of work and legal procedures in the Kingdom of Bahrain due to their keenness to bear the trust in defending the homeland and preserving the gains of citizens and protecting the capabilities and achievements. This national responsibility affirms ensuring the sustainability of the legislative process, which constitutes a pillar of the comprehensive development process to enrich the parliamentary work that the Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing, which serves the citizens and meets their aspirations. The Shura and Representatives Councils will hold their first procedural session for the third session of the sixth legislative term tomorrow, following the completion of the opening ceremony where His Majesty the King will open the session and deliver the royal speech. The session will begin with a reading of the royal decree calling the Shura and Representatives Council to convene for the new term and the reading of the royal decree on appointing Dr. Anwar Khalifa Al Sada as a member of the Shura Council who will take the constitutional oath during this first procedural session. The Representatives Council session will also include the reading of the Royal Order to convene the Shura Council and member Abdul Wahid Karta will take his constitutional oath during this session. And for more details, we are now joined in the studio by Shura Council member Dr. Hani Al Saati. Hello and welcome, Dr. Saati. Can you tell us more about His Majesty the King's support to this um, to this uh, legislative system? Uh, thank you, Yasmin. It's my pleasure to be here with you tonight. Uh, back to your question. Um, well, uh, speaking of the support of uh, His Majesty the King. Uh, we need to, uh, it's worth to mention the, the, the reform approach and view of His uh, Royal Majesty, the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, um, on the, uh, the democratic, modern, legislative, parliamentary life was initiated by His Majesty in 2002. This, in fact, followed by all authorities in Bahrain, speaking of the executive authorities like uh, the government ca cabinet and the legislative authorities, the Shura Council and the Council of Representative. In fact, this was supported directly by His Majesty mm -hmm. in every royal directive uh, speeches. So that reflects how His Majesty supporting uh, this uh, reform approach. Okay, and what's the cooperation between the executive and the legislative authorities? Well, <coughs> we, sp we are speaking about uh, productive parliamentary, healthy parliamentary work needs a dialogue. Speaking of dialogue, we need to have a dialogue between the executive authority in form of the cabinet with the legislative authorities, mm -hmm. which are the Shura Council and the uh, Council of Representatives. So the dialogue should, should <coughs> be between the both chambers and bo uh, both the legislative authority and the government. And this is, in fact, it's happening on the ground. If you are looking into the uh, directive and initiatives of His uh, Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 
the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister on uh, holding the regular weekly uh, meeting uh, with the uh, legislative uh, authority representative from both chambers. Mm -hmm. So that reflects <coughs> the, the dialogue and enhances the dialogue to, uh, to sort out the uh, important issues related to uh, citizen affairs. Okay, and uh, what are your expectations for the topics to be included in the next uh, legislative term? <laughs> yeah, so a lot of things to do. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, decrees to be approved. A lot of um, some projects have been, we worked on on the previous two rounds of this sixth legislative uh, term and th those are sent to the government to come back for, re for review and approvals. Uh, a lot of things on table, actually. Okay, lots of work. Anything you'd like to add before we conclude this talk? Well, uh, on behalf of Citizen Bahrain, I would like to encourage um, our people for unity of our um, nation, and I wish all the best for the future parliamentary uh, work coming we know that tomorrow we're inaugurating yes. the the yes. uh, third uh, round of the sixth uh, legislative uh, term okay okay thank well, you all the best all the best to everybody thank you very much dr hani member of the shura council thank you and take care thank you so, as we said, tomorrow, the 13th of October, the 7th Maintenance and Reliability World Congress and Exhibition MainCon 24 will start at Exhibition World Bahrain under the theme Enhancing Asset Management Capabilities for a Sustainable Future. The Ministry of Education participated in the 65th General Assembly of the International Society for the Evaluation of Educational Achievement held in Georgia. The meeting brought together more than 100 participants representing more than 60 countries in addition to speakers from international universities. They discussed the association's projects and reports on current and future international studies in addition to reviewing the results of the association's studies and their impact on national educational reforms. Bahrain has been a member of its association since 2016 for its distinguished efforts in implementing a number of international educational studies. 1,500 students from technical and vocational secondary schools joined the TechWeen program for field training this academic year at 250 government and private companies and institutions cooperating with the Ministry of Education. The students were divided into four batches, the first of which, which was launched at the beginning of the academic year to undergo intensive practical training over four weeks with career mentors from the ministry staff assigned to follow them. The idea of of the TechWeen program is based on strengthening the partnership between the public and private sectors to provide quality training opportunities that link academic education with the requirements of the labor market and provide students with the skills and knowledge needed to engage in various fields of work. <laughs> 